Then he said, hey, this is like that. Oh, man. Well, real. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now I know how this is going to go. Okay, let's talk about Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. Yes. I have a nice little bottle from Bath and Body Works. Great. It's evergreen. Wonderful. And that's the other thing about Christmas trees. <laughs> They're quiet. <laughs> so, uh, Christmas trees. You have renewable or you have... And they just... So what's your favorite? Martin. Martin in the back. What's your favorite? This is my friend Martin, Martin Cars, and he's here tonight. What kind of tree do you like? Artificial. Oh, Martin. <laughs> Thank you. And why do you like artificial trees? Because if you had artificial trees, uh, you wouldn't have the leaves all over the ground. Oh, and it's easier to open up at the Christmas, right? Yeah, and sometimes you can leave them up for all year round if you want, wouldn't you? And you still have the leaves up that F3 out. Uh, Leaves that falls off. That's right. Do you have a dog? Okay, well, that's good. Does anybody have a dog? Thank you, Martin. That's wonderful. <laughs> Does anybody have a dog? Or who has a dog in their bed? Do you have a dog? Okay, great. And apply them up. Do you have, do you have well, wait a minute. Artificial or real? This year. Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so an artificial tree and you have a dog. Have you seen Christmas Vacation? Okay, there's so... Okay, and Christmas Vacation, for those who may not have seen that very famous first name. Yes, there is a dog cape. I think his name is Snot, or something of the similar. And he goes over to the real tree, goes... And all the water's gone, and it's okay, because it won't make Snot sick. So, one last... One other good thing about an artificial tree. And you have, like it because? Needles go full off. We could set it up early or late or with... Do you leave it up year round? No. Okay, that's good, right? <laughs> My wife did a great job. I didn't help her this year. Is it easy to decorate? Me? Yeah, not to. <laughs> <laughs> Is it easy to decorate, Tish? I have a lot for it. And sometimes it's easy if they don't you actually hang right. You can just bend the bend the the pot. Look, the sweet part. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, just a few other things here, and we'll wrap it up and give Mick some time. Um, men and chainsaws. Why do they, every time they have to start off, they have to ring, 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 and make the loud noise? So no chainsaw, because the artificial tree doesn't need to be cut from the mud. Um, it never dries out. The Bath and Body Works evergreen smell is wonderful. It's always there. There's no bugs. Another nas um, National Land Bloom Christmas vacation. There's no squirrels. No animals in the tree, um, no sap, no sticky fingers, no watering. Um, what else can I say? It's always symmetrical and beautiful. Um, Brenda, he's, say again. It's posing. These are disposable. Yeah. Right, exactly, always. And Brenda, what about your tree? Is it the right shape? Sure. And why is it? Because it, it's an artificial. Thank you very much. It's perfect, nice, and straight. So I call them plug and play trees because they're ready to go. Easy to clean, easy to put away. Well, you're pointing out some very interesting facts. And, and one of the things that I like is you could leave it up near round. We have a friend who decorates her tree with Easter eggs for Easter and arcs for Valentine's. The turkey's is fancy it. And it just sits in the corner of the family near round. And it's probably about six feet tall, nice and large. No, about six and a half, yeah. No, nice. I said, I. He used to, something to definitely think about. Well, those are cold enough. He doesn't need to pop well. But that's the same thing. The bad idea. Mick, so what do you think? Artificial trees? Are you a bit? I am a real tree person. What could be like? What my <laughs> adversary provided is a litany of no's. No this, no that, no the other, no wonder. Pop, 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 pop. So, real Christmas trees provided me with wonder when I was small. The wonder of trying to figure out 
what my father was saying when I rejected the 17th tree that he picked out. <laughs> well, Chris was true. The wonder of how he fit the tree in the trunk of the car. The wonder of how, after falling on me three times, I survived. <laughs> the wonder of the flashing red and yellow lights coming in from the front window of the fire department. <laughs> when I wondered how to rewire the tree. The wonder of my mother, if those needles would ever go away in her lifetime. Those are the wonders of a real tree. And that is why I prefer the real tree. It gives me and continues to fill me with wonder. That was wonderful. From If the wonder of it is so memorable, but that Christmas trees bring back or involves memories of your childhood. Each of us had a Christmas tree growing up, and artificial trees weren't all that popular. Although I think child sixties, and we had aluminum trees with you know on something five point for the rotating color wheels. Um, nobody remembered those. Nobody <laughs> missed this. Uh, but those were the beginnings of artificial trees. We're trees. We have Douglas firs and and Douglas firs and Fraser firs and white pines and yellow pines. I mean, we got all kinds of trees, but now it's what is this? Well, again, I, I, I omitted one wonder, and that was after the fire department. My wonder was why my mother never came through on the threat of dropping me off on the front steps of Holy Angels Orphanage. <laughs> but I lived to tell the tale. So you bring up another point. You bring up the point of lights. And one of the things that we all think about at Christmas is lights. It's a, it's a celebration. It's a feast for the eyes with all the lights in the world. Lights on the outside of the house. So some of us have luminaries go out. Some of us have got lights on the top of our house and lights in the bushes and lights. And we have lights on our tree. Um, when I was a child, I had an aunt who had bubblier lights. Oh, republic. That's little candles. Yeah, they look like a My grandma had. You know where? Do you bring up a good point? Martin Ether was the first person to put lights on a Christmas tree. Let me sort the story. Well, so they were candles, and we were very fortunate that you didn't put a tree upside down from the ceiling. Where everybody would me in a short lip, but he put them there so that they would remind us of the stars to make things through the forest of pipes. Or didn't it? So lights. Talk about lights. Ironies of ironies. Me, the new guy in this room is going to quote Genesis. If, and God said, let there be light. Matthew said, let your light shine before them. That green lights, <laughs> not red lights, not bubble lights, but the light that contains all lights. How am I doing, Bass? I thought all cuts had been up in the scale of 10. I am an example of a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. What <laughs> you? With. This, this is no longer charming. <laughs> now, here we have a living example of chaos. <laughs> and when one of those would go out, you would go mad trying to find the exact same color to replace it. Because, heaven forbid, you had red, 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 the cancel police would come and get you. <laughs> With the monochromatic light, there is no trauma, there is no neuroses, there is very uplift. Now, we have white light here on this tree. And those of you who may 
be enthralled and will now hide behind the skirts of the pastor. I say to you, as Erasmus said, in regione, Rex es luscus, in the land of the blind, a one-eyed man is king. But Harrison and Tidbell would, and may hate the left man, cause a wife and I'm a little bit. Hey, Rex. Oh, that I think I like this, so that Addy had back and that was real that you can't I will, I will tell you a, a parable about, uh, about something that is akin to the lawyer. There is a parable about a frog and a scorpion. And there is a terrible flood. And the scorpion is being backed away from the water, fearful of drowning. And he goes to the frog and he says, Mr. Frog, please, Mr. Frog. Carry me on your back across the water and the forest. No, 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 you're a scorpion. You're a danger eater, a murderer. And the scorpion said, but please, not this time. I promise you, I promise you. And the frog said, all right, get on my back. About halfway into the water, the scorpion turns, rears back, and plunges its poisonous tongues into the frog. And the frog turns and says, but you promised. And the scorpion said, I told you I was a scorpion. I'm a lawyer. It will have no influence on that. I don't go. So, and what do you think? White lights? I- I'm guessing that you think not. Fashion. <laughs> so, with this, first of all, Mr. Moderator, I would really like to, if this is the proper word, call this out of order. The world. Mm-hmm. Because I think we all have this little black box, many of them, that we just have. And it changes from clear to white to blinking to purple to whatever color we want at whatever single to series of events we want. So really, I think it's out of order because we can have whatever we want whenever. So, but if you wish that I continue, I shall. Oh, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so with the multicolor, they match everything. They match whatever you're wearing. They match whatever ornament you're putting up. So let me ask the audience, let's, first of all, simple, easy, hands up for multi. Both I, even I, no, oh my, even I, come on, come on, come on, and up, 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 thank you, you can win it, up, 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 and Bob, why do you like multi? This is going to be short. Look how from the yarn, and it's how I and Steve White White. So when I keep looking off with that chitty to color, all that's beautiful. This thing to me is a We send them around now. So on that note, she said she looks out and sees white lights every night. That's because she has a big, beautiful backyard. She's looking at the stars, and the star is the reason we're here tonight. It's the reason of the season. So, yeah. question one, just because you've got that necklace on, this is your fault. Winkly or solid? Either of you. It's I mean this tree is solid. Neutral neutral. I think prefer the, the serenity of no blink. Um I, 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 Whereas Dr. Chaos This is this is driving through St. Lucie West. <laughs> And this is in the evening. At all <laughs> no. But here you go. For last question. Last question. Top of the tree. Star or angel? Any thoughts? Should we pull the audience? Yes. 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 Go over. On the top of the tree. How many for angels? How many do you put a star? I don't see. Now those are sword behind me. <laughs> The star, but the three, three wise men to the base, and the aid to announce this bird. Right. Both are right. Right. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we do. Whatever we do, it's a season of joy. And that's what. Final word. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've not really given Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you, Vance, for talking about the the star and.
you're no, you're not expelled. Not yet. Not yet. Like it's like like maybe maybe closer, but that may have more that may have more to do with time than anything else. But I love what you said about the angel and the star, man. It's like that. That is so. That's totally true. The star is in Matthew, and the angel is in is in um, is in Luke. And so you look at you look at those two, and it's really they're both operating in the same capacity, doing the same thing, signaling the birth of the Savior. So that that's that's great. So we'll see jingle bells all together. Okay. Can you get in it?